Hello everyone. So here we are with a new tutorial on the app Book a Movie app. So this is the app which we are creating today. So you can see in front of the screen the app. So first let's see the demo of this application and then we will start building it. So add your cinema. So you can name it any name which you want to give to your cinema hall. Then book a movie with snacks. I will click here. Then I will select which of the movie I want. I can even go to the next if I don't like the movies. Even I can go back. So I like Frozen. So I want to see Frozen movie. Now let's see the snacks. The snacks which I want to eat with my movie. Um, French fries, Coca Cola, pizza. Yeah. Add snacks. Yay! So, correct. Your movie and snacks is booked. So, click on OK. So, it should enjoy the movie. So, this is the app which we are creating today. Let's start building it. And even what we can do is. Here when it shows, we can even do that create record so that the movie, so that the edulo, I mean the cinemas will get to know that this person has booked a movie and then that movie they will reserve this girl for them. So we can even put create records so that whenever they click book and the try so it will show them okay this person has actually this person is because the dental records would be saved, right? Yay! So we will create this application. Let's go to code to actually create a new app lab project. And let's rename it to Book a Move app. So I am designing the screen. So let's design it. I am importing the screen. You all quickly note down the project link which is provided in the description. Quickly note down it and paste it here so that it's easy for us to code because importing thing will save our time and even you can do whatever you want like changes and customization. Let me explain it. if you are not importing the screen, then let me explain in each design section of every screen. So the first, so here I have chosen the theme bubblegum. So here I have added one label editor cinemas and added a button book a movie with snacks. So then when screen number two, here I have added label two, here button one next, image, label, I mean button that is book now. Like this three. Okay. So then screen number three we come. So in screen number three. We have one back button and we have added the options. Then we go to screen number 4 and in screen number 4 we have added one label that is snacks and we have added images of all the items, sprites and these images links are available in description. You can download it without any hesitation and there are check boxes here if you could see. Okay. Then we go to screen number 5. So here it is for day. Your movie and snacks is good. Then here once OK button. So we can even give a style here. Right. Then we go to screen number 6. And here it is showing enjoy the movie. So let's start coding the app. Let's do that on event when button number one is clicked. Then what's going to happen? Then of when button number one is clicked, then if button number one is clicked, then well what was that? I don't know. So we can do it. Okay, so when button number one is clicked, then it is going to set screen number two. Okay. Set screen number two. Screen number two. 
done. Let's go to the next screen. Now, screen number two. Now, on event when this button number four, this book now, this all buttons are click button number four, button number three, button number two. Then it's going to lead them to screen number four. Okay. So let's write on event when button number two is clicked and it will be set screen number four and it's seen for rest of the button. So let's do for button number three. Copy it. Button number four. Then we have screen number three. Button number 5, 6 and 7. So copy it. 5, 6, 7. Five, six, seven. So, I think we have done till here. Wait, sorry. So, we have done till screen number 4. Sorry, screen number 3, button number 7. And now let's do for back and next button. Okay. So we will do it. On event when button number 9 is clicked, then what's going to happen? When button number 9 is clicked, then of course it's going to set screen number 2. Okay, so we can copy this and we'll paste this once more and we'll do it when button number 11 is clicked then it's going to set screen number 2. Now let's do for the screen number 4 and do when button number 8 is clicked then what's going to happen? Sorry, wait. When button number when button number 8 is clicked, then what's going to happen? Then it's going to set screen number 5. Screen number 5. And it is going to play a sound. So we will do and also it's going to play a sound. So we will choose it. Right, yay. Nothing is found here. It is. Yay! Let's click on two. Okay. And we'll go to screen number five. When button number ten is clicked. When button number 10 is clicked, then it's going to set screen number 6. Okay. Set screen number 6. And with this, our application is all done.